好，我是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是《全境封锁》资料篇。我们今天要看的是进化者的报告。Uncle Joe, is that you? Yeah, sweetheart, it's me. How are you, kiddo? I'm good. Mommy and Daddy feeling okay? Yeah, but we've been sitting at home for days, Uncle Joe. It's boring. I bet it is, kiddo. Hey, listen. I want to tell you something. You know how sometimes Uncle Joe is on the radio. Yeah. Well, it might be that I'll be on the radio again soon, or the people will talk about me there, and they might say things that aren't true. Okay. Well, whatever they may say, I want you to know. I want you to remember that that I only ever wanted you to be safe. Everything I'm doing, all the good and bad, is so you could be safe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Gotta go now. I love you. 居然是乔费洛跟他女儿的的通话吧。Sounds like we have an old timer on the line, Joseph Farrell. Hey, Joe, what's your take on the dollar flu? I think this really shows how vulnerable this country is. I mean, how stupid you have to be not to go to the hospital when you're sick as a dog. We got people going to work, to the supermarket, even to the goddamn movies, infecting thousands of other people out of pure ignorance. I'm telling you, this is gonna blow up big time. Just because most people are too damn stupid to realize what's going on, there's no one with the balls, not the government, not nobody, and the brains to do what's got to be done to keep this from spreading. Sorry to cut you off there, Joe. Thanks as always for your thoughts. All right, guys, new set of assignments for you today. Martinez. Yes, sir. Take you guys over to the Hudson Yards and bring one of the tankers. Kaczynski found a shanty down there that might require some crowd control. Make sure they don't run.、Uh, Rogan. Yeah. There's a residential building uptown for you in Hell's Kitchen. It's pretty big, so make sure to cover the exit so no one gets out. There's a truck ready for you as well, but don't go crazy. I don't want to hear you burn the whole block down or nothing. Okay? You got it. The rest of you stick to your patrol routes. You never know what might be creeping back, even if you cleared it out yesterday. Now, let's go to work. So, Rogan and Martini, probably have already been cut off. Well, I don't have any impression of them. Only Chow Fei-Luo has an impression. Anton was a good man. I've known him since he joined the team six years ago. He was always a hard worker, a loving husband, and a proud father. His daughters looked up to him and saw what many of us did—a hero. Even when facing his personal losses, Anton knew he could stay strong and be part of something bigger. He knew he had a responsibility to step forward and do what he could. And for that, we thank him. And remember him as an example we should all follow. Amen. Six years ago, he joined the team. The team has been running for six years. Ah, Joe, at that time, he didn't have any impression. He would have been a hero. You gotta give it to Phil. When he says he wants something done, he gets it done. What I like is that he's out here doing it with us. I had the shop boss once. He never left the freaking office. Fellow, he's out on the streets. Yeah, and he gets his hands dirty. Never asks a guy to do what he won't do himself. Ain't that the truth? He got himself a little bit of a temper though. You gotta watch that. He just pits real easy to question the mission. Yeah, I guess you could say he's kind of a hot head. <laughs> you get it? You see what I did there? Disturbing news out of the Disease Control Department, which released a new report today on the so-called green poison. With me in the studio, I have Dr. Eliza Franklin of the DCD. Doctor, 
What exactly does this mean? Well, uh, the current infection rate is a lot more aggressive than we expected, and the incubation time a lot shorter. So all we've got is guesses. How many people getting sick are we talking here? Given current trends, we could be seeing a threefold increase by the end of the week. That much. The good thing is that we have plenty of samples and a global team collaborating on a potential vaccine. But we're racing the clock. How's the power grid holding up? The grid's fine. I understand we got a severely reduced load these days. Water, on the other hand, is a whole different can of worms. And why is that? Because we got a broken water main uptown. Which means we're mostly relying on water towers and whatever's already been funneled through. It's not going to last very long. And we need a full week and a ton of equipment we ain't got to do the repairs. We don't have a week. The supplies are already running short. Hospitals are already overloaded. And if we don't keep clean water flowing, we're going to see secondary outbreaks. The whole system's under way too much stress. You think I don't know that? But half my crew is down. I don't got gear or gas to run it. You get me help or I can't do this. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. So why do you think it's... It's like... It's like... It's like... It's like... I'm telling you. What I'm seeing here are the bravest men and women I've ever seen in my life. And we've all lost someone. But you're still willing to stand up and hear me out. And I've got one simple thing to tell you. One truth that the government refuses to recognize. The sick are already dead. The moment they get infected, they got a death sentence. The only thing they can do from there is spread the disease further. That's why we're standing here today. Without our families, without our children. Because we understand what it's going to cost to save this city and this country. And we're willing to pay that price. Nobody else will. And people will die because of that. But you all, the ones making the hard choices right now, you ask me, you're all goddamn heroes. This is not rocket science. You don't need a degree from some fancy college to understand exactly what's going on here. This virus is going to continue to spread as long as there are infected people walking around. Now, you can put up all the fences and checkpoints you want, but that's not going to stop a virus. You want to kill it? You have to burn it. Destroy it completely and before it can spread. Now, we have the equipment we need to take care of this, and the guts to do what nobody else has a sack to. It's not going to be easy, and they're not going to understand we're doing this for the greater good. But when it's over, and we've stopped this thing right here, they'll thank us.